Hi, welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain to you about the machine developer. The machine developer is used to edit a machine definition. Now, the machine definition is akin to the term post processor, which you may be more familiar with. The machine definition is what formats the NC code to make it suitable for a particular control or machine. You're now looking at the machine developer. This is an environment where we can edit the machine definition and it's based on a Visual Basic .NET, which is Microsoft's latest programming language. And we've been able to take advantage of this um, and we have a full implementation of Visual Basic .NET. Uh, I should just add as a side note here, uh, we appreciate that not everybody really wants to get involved in editing the machine definition. Uh, at this level um, and I encourage you to watch uh, the companion video on the machine definition configuration which is a technology that we have that sits on top of the, the machine developer and the machine definition to make it really easy to, to make uh, edits uh, that you might require. Uh, but moving on, uh, we have here, just want to show you some of the features. On the left here we, we have uh, a pane called the navigator. By the way, all these um, panes here, there's a navigator, the NC code and the errors can all be moved around. And for instance, we can also un undock that. So that will now collapse to the left to make some more space. And if we click the, the button, it pops out and then we can pin it back down. We can drag this around and dock it anywhere we want. You can see here the dock icon showing us where we can put it. Um, the def this is the default configuration you're, you're looking at now, and this is what I tend to, to work with. So the navigator, what we do is on the left here, we've got a list of events. Basically, this works on the concept of events. Sharp cam, as and when necessary, calls an event. And these are actually called event handlers. So the best thing is for me to show, for example, let's, let's click program start. So that's going to actually navigate to program start in the editing window here. So this is just a quick way of jumping around to all the different events. And this is actually an event handler. So what would happen is when Sharp Cam generates or wants to generate the start of a program, this is called, this event program start is called, it's a private sub program start marks the beginning. If I scroll down and end sub marks the end. So what will happen is this will, the contents of the program start event handler will be executed sequentially from top to bottom. And all the instructions in between is what actually formats the, the code and outputs the code that you want at the program start. And there are a number of them. So for example, we've got tool change. So clearly whenever a tool change is required, you, we, you or we need to populate this tool change event handler with the appropriate instructions to give us the format that we require. 